All right, so welcome back. So here we have a true or false question that states, is ST elevation seen in the following lead? So here, just to review, we have lead two here. So this is lead two. And remember that lead two is an inferior limb lead. Okay, so not pertinent to this question, but just good to review. So let's look at here. So we have lead two, and the question is asking, is there ST segment elevation? So one thing you have to know is what is the ST segment, and how do we measure if it's elevated or not? So just to review, here's our complexes we'll draw out, this being our P wave. So you can see that P wave here. This is our QRS complex, which represents ventricular depolarization. This is an R wave and an S wave. So we tend to call this a QRS or more specifically an RS complex. This is the ST segment, okay? And then we have the T wave. Remember, we also have the PR segment here. And then this portion here is our PR interval, okay? So we're asking for elevation, of the ST segment, which would be this portion here. So how do we do that? Well, so if you look at our uh, complexes on this lead two, this is our ST segment, okay? So we'll highlight it right here. You can kind of see how it's upsloping a little bit and sort of here. Um, so what we want to do is sometimes people will use this TP segment, which is here's the T wave, here's the P wave. This is the TP segment, and sometimes they'll use that as baseline. Now, more recently, we tend to not use that, okay? So some people still use this, and uh, but more recently, we're using the PR segment, which is this portion here as the baseline. So if you use the PR segment and you measure this across, you can see that it kind of comes in line with the ST segment. So here's our PR segment again, pretty much on the same line, okay? So notice here, all the way across, same thing here, okay? So... That's our PR segment, and you can see that it lines up with our ST segment, okay? So in this case, we have the PR segment and the ST segment at the same baseline. So in fact, there is no ST elevation, okay? So if the uh, ST segment were up here, okay, we had a T wave like this, or a T wave that went like this, we would say that it is ST elevation. See how it's above the baseline, okay? Now, if it were below the baseline, so say we have this S wave, which is this one here, and then it goes like this, okay? You can clearly see here, we would call this ST depression, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So in this case, because our PR segment and our ST segment are at the same baseline, okay? We call that they're at the same isoelectric line. We call this no ST elevation. So in fact, in this question, this is false, okay? ST elevation is not present in this lead, all right? Hopefully that makes sense. Leave any comments or questions below and I'm happy to address them. Now, just a few other things I wanna point out here because we haven't had a chance to discuss this. Again, if you are not aware, you can subscribe and we have over 300 free videos that you can learn from. You can join our Facebook group, uh, Facebook group, okay? And there we have over 325,000 people. So may, many of you are probably already on there. But if you want daily practice, I try to respond to almost every one of you. And it really depends on how patient care is going on that day. But I do my best. And then also we have our new course that's launched, okay? And this is called the Ultimate EKG Breakdown. I know many of you have already bought it. We've sold out within the first week. Uh, but many of you may have not even heard of it yet, okay? And as you can see here uh, in the image, this is the big course manual, this one here, okay? Opens as a book, okay? Full of 175 pages, actually more than that. And you can see how every single page in the book, this one on ischemic heart disease, has a individual lecture that corresponds with it. So over 150 lectures, 25 plus hours going on, okay? And again, you get calipers, right? A lot of those courses will not even mention calipers, but I think that's important. It's fun to have and can help with your interpreting skills, okay? So calipers included. Uh, and then you may notice here that uh, this a, a different version, okay? This one here is our pocket version. So many of you, including myself, when we're in the clinic, in the hospital, um, or even, you know, on the go, it's good to have something that we can keep in our pockets, whether it's uh, in your bag or in your white coat, you have that available, okay? I know many paramedics will use it as they're on the go and keep that with them, okay? And it's really a reference guide. You can see how kind of boil it down to the key points uh, of what's going on there. Now, I've also included 
If you do get this, you get clinical cases. So I have over two dozen, and this is continuously updated. About 20 minute lessons where we break down and approach every EKG, okay? So there's a clinical presentation. We say how to approach it, how do you break it down, what is the final interpretation, and what this means for uh, the patient's presentation, okay? So again, as I mentioned, the pocket version is available. All right. So again, if you are interested in this, if you're interested in, you know, no longer using Dubin's or Thaler's, those introductory books or any advanced textbooks, which, you know, I kind of went through them all. They were all very good in its own ways, but very inefficient learning process. So I've tried to boil this down into one resource that you can get it all here. So the calipers, uh, the videos, as well as the book all come together and you can get the combo package where you get all of this together. Okay. And you can go to the website, www.ekg.md, okay, and just go to the store and you can get that there. Again, I try to keep the the course as cheap as possible without, you know, devaluing it, or, but just to cover our costs, okay? If you go to any institution, I know here at Mayo Clinic, they charge hundreds of dollars for any course, and I think it's kind of crazy uh, for how much uh, they're charging for these because most of us, you know, whether for me in residency, medical school, you kind of rack up, you know, some of us with debt and so forth. So, you know, some of those prices are exorbitant and not anything you should pay. So my goal is to bring you a quality product that is uh, priced at a very reasonable range so that at least we can cover our overhead costs with kind of, kind of providing the content of the books as well as the video platform. All right. So again, check that out at www.ekg.md. This is the ultimate EKG breakdown, okay, endorsed by my colleagues here at Mayo Clinic, head of the ECG lab, and many of the fellows here. So take a look. Let me know what you think. Uh, and I'd love to hear your feedback.